Hey YouTube family, Dr. Max Greenlee here. This is going to be the first episode in a series called How Bad For Me Is It Really? We all eat the occasional or not so occasional junk food snack from time to time. And this series, I'm going to break down some of the most popular snacks to see how bad for us they really are and if there's any redeeming qualities at all in hopes of helping myself and others snack a little bit healthier. In this first episode, we're going to look at a standard size Snickers bar to find out if this chocolatey, nougat-filled bit of heaven is a death sentence or just a great solution to being hangry. Jeff, eat a Snickers, please. Why? Every time you get hungry, you turn into a diva. Just eat it so Ooh, we can all coexist. Turn into a diva. Mm -hmm. Put it in your system, cranky pants. Okay. Thank you. Better? Better. So one standard size Snickers is 52.7 grams and has 250 calories, 12 grams of fat, 32 grams of carbohydrates, and four grams of protein. And I must say that in my past, I counted calories and macronutrients for everything I ate for about five years in a row. And I'm a little bit disappointed to see only four grams of protein in this peanut filled chunk of bliss. It's not off to a good start. Let's take a look at the ingredients we have. Milk chocolate, peanuts, corn syrup, sugar, palm oil, skim milk, lactose, salt, egg whites, and artificial flavor, whatever the hell that is. So not all this stuff sounds horrible, so let's start with the good stuff. We have egg whites that are naturally low in calories, but high in protein, which is great. And we have peanuts that are naturally high in fat, consisting mostly of mono and polyunsaturated fatty acids, the good stuff, and are exceptionally good source of plant-based protein. And to round out this part of the Snickers that are good for you, we have skim milk. It is nutrient dense, providing a large dose of vitamins and minerals with very few calories. In fact, skim milk is one of the richest food sources of calcium, providing 300 milligrams per cup. Cow's milk has been through the ringer as a food. It has been good, bad, back to bad, then good and back and forth. And currently the scientific consensus is that the benefits outweigh the risk as long as you're not lactose intolerant. Next, let's look at some questionable stuff. Darren, I have a Snickers. Why? Because you get a little bit crazy when you're hungry. I'm not crazy. I'm just differently sane. <laughs> Better? Better. Palm oil is currently one of the most highly controversial foods, mainly because of some of its unsustainable harvesting practices. And the controversial and conflicting information doesn't stop there. But overall, palm oil may help protect brain function, reduce heart disease risk factors, and increase vitamin A levels in certain people. But if you heat it up too much before eating it, it can increase certain cardiovascular risk factors, and that's not good at all. You pathetic! If I ever catch you acting like a crazy fool again, you're gonna beat my friend Pain! Snickers, get some nuts! To start off the it's bad for you category, I'm sorry, but we have milk chocolate. Yes, it has cocoa, which has many amazing health benefits, but in today's candy bars, they usually cut a huge corner here on the expensive ingredient and have about a tenth of the cocoa that's in high-end chocolate bars, instead replacing it with artificial flavors. No cocoa, almost no health benefits. It's junk food. And now it gets really bad. Sugar, sugar, and more sugar, and even some more sugar after that. <laughs> we have regular sugar in spades from the milk chocolate and just add it for flavor. We also have corn syrup and lactose. All of these, based on how they appear on the label, are refined sugars added to the Snickers bar solely to improve the taste. They're considered empty calories because they contain virtually no vitamins, minerals, protein, fat, fiber, or other beneficial compounds. And there are 28 grams in a 52.7 gram bar. That's insane. We will win this for Mother Russia. Coach, eat a Snickers. Why is that you? You get a little loopy when you're hungry. Better. Better. Now let's go for it! Yeah! 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 Go get him, guys. 
Overall, Snickers are not as bad as some junk food, but they are pretty bad because of all the added sugar and you should only be consumed periodically and considered a decadent treat. When I eat this type of food, I usually do so after or right before a hard workout when your body can utilize all that sugar, but an Aussie bowl or a smoothie is a much better alternative in these situations. <laughs> You're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Better? Better. How about that? That hurt. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfied. Thanks for checking out this video. I enjoyed making it, and I'm a food label reading geek for sure, and there'll be more videos like this in the future. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos each and every week to help all of us stay in the best health possible. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay curious. And as always, have a beautiful day.